What's up guys, it's Alex here, your friendly reef dog. And today I'm gonna to tell you how much money I've spent on my reef tank. Now I've thought long and hard about whether I should do this video in the first place. Talking about money can be a bit vulgar, particularly in quite an expensive hobby, but ultimately I've decided that this could be really interesting and really useful. People don't tend to talk about this, so there's not that much information around. And this is a four foot by two foot by two foot tank, which is a really common size, particularly for coral heavy tanks. I've drawn up a spreadsheet, Let's go and check it out. Now I've broken my spreadsheet down into four categories so you can really see where I've spent my money. And that is the cleanup crew, the fish, the corals, and of course the equipment. Let's start off then with the inverts. And as you can see, I've not really gone that big on this. I bought a load of snails at the start uh, and spent, uh, what's that, 74 pounds on snails. Then a couple of shrimp, a brittle star, and a crab. So that gives us a grand total of 141 pounds 50. So not really that much, particularly for a tank that size, and you could probably spend a lot more to be fair. Let's move on to fish though. And this is where it starts to get a bit interesting. Now I've got quite a busy fish tank at the moment in terms of the number of fish I've got. Roughly 22 fish in there. I bought two more fish that unfortunately died. So let's take a look at some of the costs. Now, no real big ticket items. The most expensive fish I've bought is the Scarlet Hawkfish, absolute stunner, and he costs 69 pounds. And that's followed quite closely by the earmuff wrasse that costs 60 pounds. But apart from that, nothing really major. There's half a dozen Antheas on there for 150 pounds. So I guess that's quite a big token, but actually nothing really massive in there. And yet I've managed to spend 746 pounds so far on fish. So the thick end of a grand just on fish and I've probably got a few more to go in there so I reckon I'll probably end up topping a grand just on fish alone. Now that quite surprised me because I didn't really think I'd spent that much money. But anyway let's check out corals now. This is where I spent most of my money which is probably a fairly familiar story with a reef tank. Now while I haven't spent that much money on any individual fish I have gone quite big on some of my corals albeit not massive amounts of money. So for example, and for the purposes of uh, this video, I'm counting things like uh, Maxima clams and rock flower anemones as corals. But so I spent 160 quid on a clam, 120 on uh, an SPS colony there, again 130, 130 on a couple of SPS colonies, so on and so forth, 150 on an LPS colony, and a couple of SPS frags, again for 150 pounds each. But dotted in amongst those, I also have a few bargains. So I've bought loads of frags at around the 10, 20, 30 pounds mark, which kind of balances it out. Let's see how much I've spent overall then. 2,970 pounds, 49 pence. Three grand on corals alone, and I'm not even done. I reckon I'm probably two thirds of the way through, so maybe I'll end up spending five grand on corals for this tank. Now that's a colossal amount of money and that really did surprise me. I do spend quite heavily on there, but I didn't quite think it would be as much as three grand. But that's always likely to pale into insignificance compared to the equipment you buy, so let's take a look at that. So with the equipment then, I have gone for a Red Sea Reefer Peninsula tank of course, which cost me £1,600. And there are loads of other really big ticket items, so the Kessel AP700 was just over £800. The skimmer was almost £500, then I spent £600 on two MP40s for the flow. There's a return pump in there as well for almost £400, and loads and loads of other bits. Uh, an auto top off, another light, um, the UV steriliser even 50 quid racks up quite a lot. 50 quid each on the heaters, I bought two heaters, so 100 quid on there. RO filter, I spent 200 quid on the entire system for that. So quite a lot of large value items there. Let's see how much it totals up to then. £6,936.55. That's seven grand on equipment. Now that wasn't all up front, all in one go. I've added loads of little bits as I've gone along, but seven grand, that's a hell of a lot just for the tank. No fish, no corals, seven grand on the tank alone. Right, well, now we've got that figure, let's put it all together and find out exactly what I've spent all in all. So here we are then with the full spreadsheet showing everything, and I'm just gonna break a few things down before we get to the overall figure. Starting then with the setup costs. So this is no fish, no corals, just the tank and the equipment that you need to get going. So in order to do that then, let's have a look and see what I bought at the start. 
So we started with, of course, salt mix, sand and plug boards, the tank, the skimmer, the light, the return pump, a load of rock. I'm going to leave off the manifold and the manifold pump because they did kind of come later. Then we have the auto top off, the aquarium cover, the power heads, the algae magnet, the Cheeto lamp, and the temperature controller and the heaters and finally the RO filter. So setup costs right from the start to get everything going, grand total is 5,231 pounds 58. So if you want a Red Sea reefer tank that's four foot by two foot or something like that, you better budget for around five grand. And that's without all the flash bits that you add later on. What about livestock then? Well, let's total all of that up together so we know clean up crew, fish and corals. Not a lot of money on inverts, quite a lot of money on fish and a bucket load of cash on corals. That gives me a total on livestock alone of £3,857.99. So four grand on, uh, well, a two thirds stocked fish tank. That's a hell of a lot of cash and we're already creeping towards a high number overall. So what about deceased livestock then? Because I said I've lost a couple of bits. Well, let's add up exactly what that's cost me. So most of the damage done here was with corals, but I have, of course, lost some other bits. Let's have a look. So we have a shrimp from the cleanup crew, a peacock wrasp and a Papua New Guinea wrasp there from the fish column. Then into the corals, and this is where the damage really starts to rack up. So zoas, an aquapora, another aquapora, a big colony there. Then loads and loads and loads of other bits all the way up to around December, which is when I started to sort out all of my problems. That then gives a grand total of £732. So I have wasted as much money uh, on dead corals and fish as I've spent on fish alone. £732 is a hell of a lot of money. And that's what happens when you're not careful with your tank like I wasn't and I wasn't doing the right things. You can lose, for a start, a lot of livestock, but also quite a lot of money. Anyway, now let's look at a grand total of everything I've spent then, all together on the tank so far. So we've got 140 quid of inverts, 750 quid of fish, 3,000 pounds of corals, and seven grand for the tank. That gives a grand total of 10,794 pounds, 54 pence, so far. So that's 11 grand almost, 11,000 pounds on, again, a partly stock fish tank, probably two thirds stock fish tank. Now that is a hell of a lot of money, no matter what way you slice it. And it's really taken me by surprise, if I'm honest. I didn't think I'd spent that much money. Yeah, it's over a period of time, but nonetheless, that is a hell of a lot of money for me. And if you'd have told me that's how much it was gonna cost me right at the start, I might have had a bit more of a think about it. In saying that, I don't regret it, I really enjoy it, and I would do the same thing again. If I was gonna set up another tank, I'd spend that kind of money again because I wanted to do it really well. But that's the final amount then, almost 11,000 pounds for a partly finished four foot fish tank. So if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go and have a lie down. So there you go, that's how much money I've spent on my tank so far. Now I'd be really interested to know what you guys think about that. Is that quite a surprising amount of money? Is it roughly what you expected? Or are you a really big roller and that's a quarter of what you'd spend? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you enjoy the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for future content. And in the meantime, check out some of my other videos. Until next time then, I have been The Reef Talk. Thank you, good night.